there are 520 odd networking organizations in Australia. What do you do? You connect with a small group of people. So I asked Candice and some others, how would you like to have a passport to network in 36,000 cities? Can you do that? Any of your members of a networking organization? Mm -hmm. How many cities are they? Any of them have 1.5 million members? Okay, mm -hmm. then I'm in business. So <laughs> I said, well, how about 36,000 cities where we have Rotary Club because we have a badge. Kasia as a president and what Candice did. You can walk in, any of you can walk into any of the 36,000 cities. Do you know that we have 25 Rotary Clubs, Roma, on the Gold Coast? It's going to be more, right? Mm -hmm. 25 and 800 members. So we have more Rotarians on the Gold Coast that you can meet, which is more than all the Chambers of Commerce put together. Yeah. So Candice grabbed the idea, but she's a good Learner. She did her research, okay. tested me. Candice, I thank you first for trusting in the vision that I showed you. You know, the vision of bringing people together in a very flexible format. That is what Rotary does. We connect people. But Rotary is a old organization. They have been 116 years. So, you know, it's a 20th century organization. So the systems are very old fashioned. But we broke away from them. And like Candice, the connecting. What connects both of us are we are revolutionaries. We are disruptors. And believe me, wherever I walk, I disrupt. I change what is happening, which is good. Mostly to make it comfortable for you, right? That's what we do. Rotary brings people together to become friends. But actually, it builds trust. So Candice started the meeting with our a personal challenge called a four-way test for you. But Rotary has five simple values, and that's what that keeps us together. You know, you can bring people together, but what keeps us together can be different. Like I was just sharing with Augustina, you know, it's sometimes our families keep us together because of our values. So Rotary's first value is friendship. We bring you to become friends. Kenny and I, we didn't know each other, but we are, I think, the best of friends that we can have. But I made sure she falls in love with Rotary. <laughs> and you know, that's the bigger picture. Friendship. And then our second value is integrity. And remember, I'm going in by order. First value is friendship. Because if we come together as friends, we develop integrity. You know what integrity is? It's not trust. It's beyond, more than trust. Can I depend on you? Can I depend on you? Will you keep to your word? It's not a contract. That builds integrity. And then from there, we come to service. You know, if you can, uh, if you can depend on each other, we can do service. And then, because of service, it builds a lot of diversity among us, right? Look, at, look around us. I was born in Sri Lanka, and if you look around, how many of us were born out of Australia? Look at this. Where are the Australians? <laughs> yeah. You know, this is what happens. So, so, so Rotary brings in a lot of diversity. Right? That's another value of ours. Our fourth value. And our fifth is leadership. By doing all this, we have opportunities for leadership. And that's the opportunity that Candice grabbed. Said, I will lead this club. Kasia grabbed it, if you remember, to be the secretary of the club. So this club was built on strong foundations of Candice and Kasia and all the others who were there from the start, Mali. This is where we have come a long way. And your club is very special because you are today the only passport club in Australia that operates as a passport club. You're all new to Rotary, right? Except Rowan, or Rowan is here, but you know, you're all new to Rotary, and you do it your way. That's why people ask what you used to pay fees, what you all do, and that's what I really wanted. Let people ask. Curiosity is the best form of publicity, and I'm in international marketing, believe me. If you can create a curiosity in a person, you have won, because the person is going to ask more. And that's the curiosity I created in Candice, 2019, January. We have 36,400 Rotary Clubs. 
and you are a benchmark for one of the top passport model Rotary Clubs. Passport means you have the flexibility to do projects of your own or do projects with any other club or any other charity. You've got a passport to go anywhere in the world to any club. That's what the passport means. Don't get stuck in here. Just go. You can do something in Argentina. <coughs> That's the concept. And please use that opportunity. And I think yesterday or day before I connected you all with another passport club, the first passport Austria. club in Austria. In Austria. I mean, Austria's first passport club comes in 2021 when you started one in 2019. See, we are far ahead. So friends, this is what the future is. The future is going to be flexibility. The more you make life flexible for people, I think people will be around you. And that's what Rotary as an organization, as a governor, that's what I tried doing. And last year we formed seven Rotary clubs, five clubs, and two satellite clubs, so seven new clubs, and it's all People are coming to connect with Rotary. Last year we had 383 new people joining Rotary in our geographic area. Last year, with a lot of planning that went for three years before I became governor, things don't happen overnight. But what you see happens overnight. Over three years of planning, strategy, one goal with one focus. Last Rotary year we were the 25th largest growth Rotary district in the whole world. Now that's good for Australia. You know, we are a geography, we have 19 geographic areas, so I'm, we are one, one district. Uh, but it's good to be 25th largest, so we grew by 15%. We are the 25th largest out of 545 districts. All that is because we created some models of new Rotary Clubs that were accommodating and making people more comfortable and flexible. So out of the 383 people who joined, 63% were ladies and 29% were young people under 35 because the model worked for them. We were able to attract the cool kids, we were, attract, were attracting you know, female members who were feeling comfortable and they gave opportunities for leadership like for Kasia, for Candice, for all of you. And Kasia, for you, as you take on the leadership of this amazing club, Feel free to be the most flexible and disruptive. Disruptive in the structural, you know, not don't break the buildings here. Huh? <laughs> disruptive model and you know, create the most amazing innovation to bring young people together. And if I can make each one of you look like a rock star, we got to make everyone look rock stars. Now today, uh, today across Australia and New Zealand, your Facebook page, and your Instagram, which I know you have a lot to do, yes, it's a benchmark for us. We show your Facebook page and your Instagram as a benchmark for other Rotary Clubs. And we have thousands, thousand and, how many? We have thousand and twenty-one Rotary Clubs uh -huh. in Australia. But you're the best. <laughs> you're the best. So, you're the best. And I like you all to keep those, you know, benchmarks. Once you set benchmarks, you got to go higher and we can do that. We saw it today at the Olympics when the first time a young girl won the first ever gold medal for a 100 meter women backstroke for Australia. <laughs> Yesterday, Ariana Titmus, you know, another young girl, first time. And that girl, you know, Kate, Kathleen, has never been beaten by a female in the 400 meter 800 and 1,500 meter freestyle for the last 11 years. She won her first goal at the age of 15. But here comes a girl from Tasmania, now living in Brisbane, Ariana Titmus. She goes and beats her just in the last 50 meters. That is called resilience. But that's also called, she was very smart. She had the mind set to win. She got into the pool to win the goal. And that's what I want you to have, the mindset to win. Everything is in your mind, whether you win or you lose. So today, you have won by creating this club, Candice. This is the Rotary Club of the future, was for the Rotary Club to be the largest number. So your club, the Gold Coast Passport Rotary Club, which you are proud members of, your club has the largest number of under 40s of all the 1,300 Rotary Clubs in Australia and New Zealand. You are leading. 
So this is your trophy, and I will present it yeah. to your incoming president. But you can. That's yes, and then we will I put it in the box, <laughs> <laughs> and we will send it around. <laughs> yeah, you. <are. laughs>